Hey everybody, it's Rick Silver, referral coach, here to teach you how to build a referral-based practice so you never have to cold call, door knock, or beg people for business. In this video, I'm coaching Trisha on how to fix up her two elevator pitches and her epiphany story so she can get more referrals and start a whole new career. Here we go to the video. My name is Rick Silva, this is Trisha. I'm going to have Trisha tell you who she is. Trisha, do you still own the magazine? Yeah, um, I do still own the magazine. Okay, so tell However, tell I it. am in the process. Well, I am Trisha Picaro, and I am in between uh, seasons or careers. I have been the owner of 110 Degrees Magazine for 15 years, and now I'm transitioning to a health advocate, and I am the collagen lady, but uh, there's a lot to that. So not just collagen, but yes, that's, that's the path I'm on now. So I'm in the middle of, of a transition. Awesome. So this started because uh, I've been teaching elevator pitch for the last 20 years. I think I've heard about wow. 25 or 28,000 elevator pitches. I have at least 10 or 20,000, probably it, 10 to 15, maybe even 20,000 hours of study in the one topic of elevator pitch. It's the most important a piece of a referral network. And I'm going to go over all the components with you today, uh, Tricia. So I facilitated about, I don't know, 12 or 1300 referral groups. So I've probably heard 25 to 28,000 elevator pitches and, and you meet people and you go, why is that person a multimillionaire has made millions of dollars? Why does that person make hundreds of thousands? Why does that person hardly make anything? And it comes down to what I figured out was the four components of a re referral network. And as a side note, you know, I've been running network groups and teaching networking. My wife's been doing real estate for the last 13 years. I've been helping her for the last 11 years or so full time. We've done about 865 real estate transactions and made millions and millions from that using what I'm going to show you. Uh, and then a lot of people don't know, but way back in the 90s, I was involved in, you can call it network marketing, referral networking, direct sales, whatever, you, whatever, the, whatever the fancy word is. It's telling people about stuff awesome products and everyone gets paid. And I built two huge groups. Unfortunately, I picked two companies that, that went out of business, but I've, I've recruited five to 700 people to join uh, the two different companies I was in. So I do have significant experience in direct sales, but I'm a professional networker, teach networking. Tricia put a post up, which was fantastic. And we're going to go over it word by word, line by line. Her two okay. elevator pitches and something that she may not even know what it's called. You're going to find out today. You put up an epiphany bridge story. So you have two of your four components of your referral network. One is one is 95% done. One is 40% done. It'll be 100% done after today. And the other two components you might have, I've never talked to you about it. But Tricia put this post on Facebook. She had her little elevator pitch and she had one that ChatGPT helped her with. And I've been using a special kind of AI software through a gentleman named Jim Edwards since, since its inception. So I've been in AI for uh, since uh, late 2022. I don't know. I have hundreds of hours on AI software, but the software I use is specific for creating titles, taglines, blog posts, Facebook posts. Uh, and I took that and I worked that into my elevator pitch training that's taken it to another level. So today I'm going to talk to Trisha about the four parts of a referral network. I'm going to read to you her epiphany story. Then we're going to go over her two elevator pitches. We're going to talk about the components of the elevator pitch. And then we're going to fix, which doesn't need that much work, but we're going to fix her two uh, elevator pitches. So do you see your pretty face on the screen there? Yes. Who's that movie star? I barely recognize her. <laughs> Here's the goal of what we're doing. So you had said you're changing seasons from magazine ownership, ownership to being the college and lady. And what I what I like just now, those of you that know, uh, I, I we didn't like sit down and talk for hours. This is live. I learn things as we go, and then you got to learn to adjust. So I'm adjusting. I know Protandin uh, and the company's got. There's a lot of products, and the biggest mistake that I've seen in coaching people in referral networking and direct sales is trying to sell every product. So there's a saying called the confused mind doesn't buy and the confused mind doesn't refer either. It's very difficult to refer if people don't even know what the heck you're talking about. So I like the collagen lady and I'm going to have to figure out how to incorporate it into 
the two elevator pitches we are going to create today. There is something, if you go way back into direct sales and you know, early Amway days, they called something, I don't know if you've heard of this, Trisha, it's called the six foot puke factor. And we're going to get yeah. to that. But it's, they used to say, pitch anybody that's within six feet of you. The challenge <laughs> with, uh, what's that? I'm laughing. Yeah, I've been in the, I've been in the game a long time. <laughs> um, the goal of an the, the goal of you, your goal. This is my opinion, Trisha. Not one thing today. I'm going to tell you what to do. When we're done, this will be edited. Go on my YouTube channel. You can use all of it. You can use none of it. You can do whatever you want. The goal in referral networking is to get people to chase you, not you chase them. And you do that through a proper elevator pitch that has the four components in it, which we'll get to shortly. We don't want to go to a networking event and pitch everyone we meet. Like my wife had to stop going to a lot of the, the ladies networking events because she came home. And she goes, if I bought every face lotion, every weight loss chocolate, every product out there, number one, I'd be bankrupt. Number two, I'd have 10,000 products on my face. The goal should not be to scare one away because you'll go to, you'll have some success maybe in the beginning, but then people see, oh no, here comes that person going to sell me life insurance again. And then it's like when you drop a drop of oil in, in the water with the soap and, and the soap runs away from the oil. We don't want to be that person. So we, we want people chasing us. We don't want to be chasing them. If you're pitching your friends and family members, in my opinion, it's a huge mistake. What happens is by becoming successful, they'll chase you. So, and, and that, that third one is we don't want to um, be that six foot puke person where if they're within six feet, you puke on it. Cause Trisha, when I spoke at, when I spoke at that meeting years ago for your magazine, there's a chance I was homeless then. Cause I, I don't know if I had my, was married to my wife or even dating my wife, but I, I, when were, I got divorced. Were, in think, late, yeah, you were not. I remember. What year, what year was it? It was, I mean, we're talking long time ago. Over 10 years yeah. ago. Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Probably 13 maybe years ago. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, I'll buy that. Well, well, 14 years ago, I was living in my office homeless and bankrupt. Okay. And then wow. and then I met my wife and I moved in with her. And I went from homeless, bankrupt, living in a little tiny apartment to multi, multi-millionaire. And there's no, way, there's no way I can water that down. It's a true story. And I can I could show the bank account and the land, that <laughs> $7 million of the land that I own, prove it. And I've never door knocked. So in all the years we're running my networking groups and uh, over 865 real estate transactions, I've never door knocked. I've never cold called. I've never bought leads. And I've never asked anybody to buy. People chase me. I don't chase them. And you do that through having the four parts that we're now going to discuss. So to build a referral network and to be really successful in your business or in any business, you have to have four parts. The epiphany story, which I'm going to be reading yours to you shortly. Your avatar, we absolutely do not have the time for that today based on the fact that we don't even have 30 more minutes together. I won't, I won't barely finish this. you got to have an elevator pitch, and then you have to have a list of power partners. You call them centers of influence, circles of influence. The, the short one on the fourth one, Tricia, is this is my opinion. Do not ever, under any circumstance, look for a client. Find who already has your client. And hairdressers, nail salons, acupuncturists, and massage therapists already have your client. That's the short answer. Okay, absolutely. And, and under that number four, you take your epiphany story. If you look at the screen, an elevator pitch. And then you find, go down to number four, and you find people who already have your client. And they teach them, they, you teach them how to send them to you. You don't go to networking events and pitch every woman you meet. You don't talk to all your friends and family members because they don't want to talk to you anymore. When Trisha becomes successful, I have I have a friend who's with Mary Kay that I went to high school with, who you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Teresa, I went to yeah. I graduated high school with her. Yes. And uh, she is very successful. And and the way I look at it is get get on about your tenth pink Cadillac. All your friends and members are going to come. Probably on your second Cadillac, they're going to go. What do you do again? I gotta. Same yeah. with us. When we, when we started, people started seeing, seeing the success and the bigger house, the bigger house, the bigger house. Hey, what you guys are still doing that little land thing. Yeah. <laughs> I made 900 grand last year, that little land thing. Um, and then they start coming around. So I say, don't even talk to your friends. If I'm a, they'll, they'll chase you when they're ready. Um, yeah. so, so I'm going to, I'm going to, today we're going to go over, if I can get through epiphany and elevator before you have to run out the door, I'll be very happy guys. Yes, that would be awesome. Hey everyone, if you're enjoying the video this far, thanks for watching. 
A lot more to come. If you need an elevator pitch, put a comment down below and I'll help you. Any of the topics on networking you want me to discuss, put that down below. Back to the video. Okay, so I'm going to read this to everyone and you guys sit back and I want you just to, to, to hear Trisha put up a photo, a kind of like a before and after. <laughs> Um, so when you hear, I look, I gained more weight than this, understand this is a Facebook post with a photo, but this is what's called an epiphany. And as we're going through this, I want you to understand what an epiphany bridge script is the biggest, the biggest seller. Can you see me on camera, Tricia? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you a visual of what an epiphany is. Okay. So I want you to think about before and after pictures. Okay, so you can't have the touchdown without going the, through the 300 pounders. You can't have light without the dark. You're generally not yeah. going to have success with some down. So uh, in 2017, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I completely cured it. But I want you to see picture yeah. number one, 201 oh, yeah, yeah, pounds. Picture number two, 30 pounds, 12 weeks later. Right. And I'm much better than that. But, but I noticed you're looking fit, slim and trim there. I yeah, didn't notice. Yeah, and I'm 54. So in that really? picture where I'm heavy, I'm in my mid to early 40s. But what yeah. that is, that's an epiphany. So when I talk to people about how I cured type 2 diabetes, when you start the, the conversation with, you look 10 years younger now than when you did when you were 44. I cured type 2 diabetes. Look at this picture. And then you got them. So yes. one of the best things you did is you put a picture. But now there's a picture and then there's a story. There has to be ups and downs. There has to be, Tricia. And you have some of it in here. You could create more drama, but this is a very good story. I want to read it, and then we're going to break it down a little bit. So okay. this is Tricia's Facebook post. I got a chance to do a training last night for some Life Vantage peeps, and I shared a little bit of, uh, of my story with this slide. This was me the weekend before COVID lockdown. I actually then gained even more weight on lockdown. I was cooking up a storm, baby. I didn't believe in pills, reminded me of pharmaceuticals or pain pills or supplements even. I didn't believe there was such a thing as health, a healthy energy drink. I didn't believe in bothering with a direct sales co. I had my own business. Now I'm going to pause there and I'm going to, I'm going to do this only because you told me, did you say you're, you're rebranding yourself as the collagen lady? You did say that, right? Yes. Be with me. Don't read this. Listen, <laughs> does it say it in here? No. Right. So mm -hmm. this is taking you off brand. I just want you to understand that what we're doing is we're pre-framing we're pre pre -framing a sales message. We're actually selling without selling. It's called the indirect sales approach. This is what's going to get people to chase you down the street. Now, if you want to be known as a collagen lady, you may want to put a, a random pain pills, or, or supplements, I didn't believe there was a good healthy drink. I didn't know what collagen could do. Now, now, Trisha, I'm telling you now, I know nothing about collagen. And we're not here to educate Rick because we'll never get this done. But yeah. I, I, I didn't know there was a thing uh, as a healthy energy drink. And I had no idea how collagen could affect the joints, the body, the skin, the hair, the nails. I know what I'm doing, girly. I just don't want to sound like an expert. But if we're going to tell this story, which is how you should start every presentation, every single presentation, you've took yourself off brand if you didn't put that in there. Okay. Uh, regardless of my beliefs, I was not putting my health first because you were working your ass off trying to build your magazine. I took the yellow mm -hmm. pill, but it was not consistent. And only because my friend made me, I was totally, uh, I was a total skeptic after I noticed my hair growing and how great my immune system was. Hubby swore by this stuff, but who cares what he thinks? Just kidding. I love it. Fast forward, uh, post-COVID, I have given myself permission to put my health first. Who needs, who, who needs to give themselves permission? And then it goes into a list of the types of clients that work best with this. I believe you can turn a corner on your health when you make a decision to put it first. Do your research and try to do your best to eat healthy and exercise in moderation. Sometimes the first step in giving yourself permission is giving yourself permission. Fantastic. Yeah. A presentation, Trisha. I'm mm -hmm. going to read all of this. I'm, I'm personally would put in, um, uh, put in the collagen part. If you're beginning a presentation, so we're going to talk real quick. All of you watching this, I want you to FYI, this is a six hour presentation, six to do all of this. And Trisha put up the post and I said, Hey, if you want some help for the world's leading authority and elevator pitch, I'd love to help you, uh, 
put in the piece that's missing. Today, I'm going to give you the piece that's missing. But first, we have to talk about what an elevator pitch is and why. The elevator pitch, its job is to turn every single person you meet into your non-commissioned, non-salaried sales force, Trisha. Your non-commissioned, non-salaried sales force. You want people selling for you. If you are selling to every person you meet, you're doing the wrong job. There's no leverage in that. There's a lot more rejection. So if you go and talk to 10, 10 friends and family members, oh, you're doing that thing. Uh, right? <laughs> now, if you talk to hairdressers, nail salons, and chiropractors, massage therapists, fitness people, weight loss consultants, I could go on. You should be able to name 50, minimum yeah. 50 industries. <clears throat> if you taught them how to talk to their clients, Trisha, by the time they get to you, the, the chiropractor already sold them on it. The hairstylist already sold them on it. So you're not dealing with any rejection. You're letting your finders take care of the rejection. You're only taking care of the positivity. You can only do that with a good epiphany story, which we just read, and an elevator pitch. There's other things too, but we don't have time. Now, the elevator pitch, it has to tap into the reticular activating system in the brainstem. Have you ever, ever heard of the RAS, the RAS? Uh, you know? No. Okay. It's in the brainstem. No. So, Trisha, have you ever... Let me jump ahead here real quick, right here. So Trisha, you've, you've thought about a car you want and every magazine you pick up, every time you go on the internet, everywhere you drive, you see that car. Okay, yeah, I have heard of this. Okay, now I know what you're talking about, yes. Yeah, that's a reticular activating. It's happened to everyone. There's a topic you thought of. Yes. It's on Facebook, it's on LinkedIn, it's on Google, it's on Yahoo. You pick up a magazine, you walk through the store, it's on the cover of every magazine. Now, here's the thing, <laughs> Trisha. When you thought about the gray BMW and you went outside because you want you think about buying one and you see 30 of them that day, I want to explain to you, they were always there. Yeah. Your reticular activating system decided to vibrate and notice them. Okay. You're older than I am. I'll be 55 this year. I'm 54. You look fantastico. So thanks. You too. You, you and I, thank you. You and I are old enough to know this. Back in the day that we had a radio with an antenna, this antenna is the reticular activating system in the brainstem, and it can be programmed. We're going somewhere with this, Trisha, because without this, millions in your business are not going to come your way. You have got to learn the reticular activating system. So this okay. pen is an antenna. Now, Trisha, if we want country music, which I don't like, but we'd go on the radio and we'd tune it to the country music station, and then this would vibrate at a certain frequency. And it would pick up the country music from the frequency of the radio station, would hit the antenna, go in, and it would reverberate and vibrate and come out the speakers. Okay? That's how it works. I have an electrical engineering degree. If I want rock, <laughs> I too did the at, – back in the day, it was 98.5. Whatever channel for rock, for country, whatever it is, you tune the radio station. It vibrates at a certain resonance, pulls it out of the sky. It goes in the antenna, and it vibrates out the speakers. Are we, are we good so far? Yeah. Okay. Hold that thought. What is that? An acorn. And it's a trick question because it's actually a wood carving of an acorn, but it was the biggest picture I could find. That's an acorn. And when we plant it in the ground, what grows? Trees. What kind of tree? Only one tree. Uh, one tree. It is a... Acorn I, only I grows an oak tree. tree. Oak tree. Oak tree. Okay. Only. Why not a lemon tree? Why not an orange tree? Why not a Christmas tree? Why not a rose bush? It's because that seed is genetically programmed to do one thing. Okay, it's I'm I'm getting it. It's vibrating at a res resonance that it attracts what it needs to grow. Do you see how we're going to build your referral network? I do. You have to program the mind of the people you meet to resonate with what Trisha needs. You can program anyone's mind. I already did it to you when I said you thought of the gray BMW. You went, and yeah. every time I'm talking, if you look at yourself, you're doing this is because I'm firing your retake rack. You've done this like a thousand times because I'm firing your retake rack. I'm a master at it, but I'm going to teach you how to do it. So this acorn, if you look at it under a microscope, there is not a tree in there. It's a mass that's vibrating at a resonance that when water touches it, whatever's in the water that makes an oak tree goes into the seed. If it makes a rose bush, it does not go into the seed. Whatever's in the soil that makes an oak tree flies into the seed. If it makes a rose bush, it does not go in the seed. The same thing from the sun. The nutrients that grow that go into the seed. If it makes a rose bush, did it go in that seed? No. So that's why people in network marketing, when they're trying to sell 37 different products and they're trying to sell to their friends yeah. and family members, they quit. Yeah. You have to be 
the one product person. You can lead with collagen and then go into all the other products, but you hit them with 50 products, it's a pie in the face. They can't, they can't resonate. So when you come with confidence, when you come with one product line that worked for you and you can show it in pictures and you fire the retake their activating system, they don't know what else to do. But, oh, you know, my cousin needs this. Oh, my aunt. But if you try to sell them, no. Totally. So that's the retake their activating system in the brain stem. We're going to talk yeah. about how to craft an elevator pitch. Most networking groups, Trisha, give you 30 or 60 seconds. This format is for 60 seconds. So the average person speaks 160 to 180 words a minute. I speak about 205, but the average person speaks 160 to 180. So just know if and when you type your 60 second elevator pitch, don't go over 185, 190 words. That's step one. These are the components of an elevator pitch. Okay, we're going to break yours down in in as much detail as we can in 19 minutes. It's an hour and a half to do it. We're going to do it 19 minutes. Okay? okay. So part one is name and company. And part two is what you do. <clears throat> part three, you're going to save them time. This is the only thing your magazine did. This is the only thing that, that anything does. There's nothing else. This is, this is all the benefits. Now, I know your company does all of this. I know. But you cannot have an elevator pitch with seven pieces in it because it's going to be three minutes long. So ultimately, you're okay. going to want to pick three at the most, one or two, the best, three at the most. You're going to save them time, make them money, save them money, reduce their stress, make them feel good, look good, feel secure. You have to figure that out. We're not doing that right now. Um, but you need to pick two or three, yeah. and then yeah. you need to tell me how you do that. Part one, name and company name. Part two is what you do. Part three, pick two or three of these, save time, save money, make money, reduce stress, feel secure, feel good, look good. And then part four, other than your name and company name, Part four is the most important. None of this is important compared to part four. And I'll explain. Um, because you could have the greatest elevator pitch in the world and tell everybody how much it does. And then, and then as soon as you go, uh, would you like to buy? Do you want this? Do you want that? Everything you did is out the window because you tried to sell to them and it's offensive and people don't like it. So yeah. that indirect sales approach we talked about in your epiphany story, we're now going to put it into your elevator pitch. I'm going to show you where to put it, where not to put it and all that good stuff. So there are so many ways to get great health results. Uh, I show people how to get desired results without making drastic changes, without spending lots of time and without wasting lots of money. I help people feel, feel better and do more. Okay. So with this, Trisha, this is being recorded. You're going to want to watch this back. I'm going to show you how to shorten this dramatically. There are so many ways to get great health results. I show people how to get their desired results without making drastic changes or spending lots of time or wasting lots of money because the, and without, without that's, I'm, I'm taking seven words out, just put, or okay. uh, the results in some of the following ways. They don't spend a lot of time. They don't waste lots of money. Try okay. to cut, Tighten. you don't have to have repeat Tighten. words. I help people gotcha. feel better and do more. The chat GPT one, there are many paths to achieving, achieving great wealth, uh, great health results. And as a health coach, I can guide you on how to achieve your desired outcomes without making drastic changes, spending excessive time or wasting money. My approach focuses on helping you feel better so you are you are more capable of doing the things you enjoy. You'll be empowered to make simple changes that have a significant impact on your overall, overall health and well-being. Now, if you're giving a presentation, maybe use this. Maybe. If you're selling to a room full of people who are indoctrinated, they're already in. Yes. Let me tell you the changes if you're talking to somebody brand new. Because, Trisha, if you were sitting with a chiropractor and you said... You'll feel empowered when you do this. You'll do this. You'll do that. You'll do that. You're selling to your referral partner. Don't ever sell to your referral partner. Ever. You're supposed to teach them how to send your referrals, not sell to every human being you meet. So if you're using the words you and your, you're making a mistake. You're never going to get referrals that way. So Got it. there are, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the rewording. There are many paths to achieving great results. And as a health coach, I, I guide my clients on how to achieve their desired outcomes without making drastic changes, spending excessive time or wasting money. These pieces here come from what you're gonna put here. You, you tell me what you do. If you make the money, tell me how. If you make them feel secure, tell me how. If you make them look good, tell me how. And then that's gonna go in here. Uh, I, can, I guide my clients on and then those answers are gonna go here and all this is gonna come out. Making drastic changes, how? Spending exact time, put the answers here. So just okay. to reiterate, you pick three from here and you tell me how you do it. And then you put those. I, I guide my clients on 
And then those three answers go right here. And then you delete these two sentences. My, my approach focuses on helping my clients feel better so they are more capable of doing. So if I went up to you and Trisha, I can help you lose weight. I can help you do this, do that. No! Ah, what's he selling me? Hey, Trisha, yeah. thanks for asking what I do. I help my clients lose weight. They feel better. I had one client. Uh, he, he got off all his pain medications. His back was bothering. He was going to chiropractor all the time. He's, he's blah, blah, blah. And they're going to go. I might want to talk to you about that. But if you go up to that same person and say, here's what the product is, blah, blah, no. <laughs> yeah. So what's happening is if you've had that, you're puking the word you on them. Try never to use the words you and your to anyone you meet. And they will chase you, Trisha. I promise. I've made millions and millions with this. My approach focuses on helping my clients feel better so they are capable of doing the things they enjoy. They are empowered to make simple changes that have a significant impact on their overhaul. Now, me personally, I would change this. I'm going to show you how this part right here. But this is very good. If all you did was the you went to my clients, they and them, this is 80%. For, it's 80% better than any elevator pitch you'll hear from anybody else in your company. And I'm going to make it today. There's one person, if she's still using it, would have the best one in the company because I taught Ooh. her how to write it. And that's Tara Wilson. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Now we're going to break down the components. And I have exactly 12 minutes to do an hour's worth of work. You ready? So we're going to back up here and we're going to remember the four parts of your naming company. Now I always tell people, if you can't get the first two parts without me, then we're in big trouble. This is what I was looking for when I said the other things out of order. Oh, there you go. So here, here's the four parts. So we have naming company. What do you do? And then you're going to pick three of these. And then down here, the, the, the word for word quotes, the, the, the don't use the word anyone or anybody uh, in the bottom part. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about it. There's your short version. There's your long version. This area here, we are going to use to craft your elevator pitch. And where it would go at the end of your epiphany story, your personal story. Okay. Or it would go at the end. We'll, 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 I'll put, I'll put, I'll paint a picture of everyone. Or it's going to go right here. Or it's going to go right here. Now, okay. part four of your elevator pitch. I like this one better, so I'm going to play with the long one. This one, this one's. Okay. There are many paths to achieve great health results, and as a health coach, I, I guide my clients. Perfect elevator pitch. I guide my clients on how to achieve their desired outcomes without making, sending excessive time or wasting money. My approach focuses on helping so they are capable of doing things they enjoy. And if you had the time, for example, um, maybe have them able to go hiking because their knees have been bothering them. And one of the products we have helps with joint, whatever. You see how we're taking all the sales out of it? Yes. yes. And I know in your company, they tell you sell, sell, sell. And I say, don't ever sell ever teach yeah. people what you do and you'll get referrals they are empowered to make <clears throat> simple changes that have a significant impact on this needs work because we need to answer those questions of how you save them time make money and we're going to change it in here but this is already a million times better a perfect referral for me is now watch this you gave me everything i need want to see oh, yeah yes i did now i want you to understand trisha you're going to need ultimately 10 elevator pitches yeah and here's what I mean. If you're talking to Trisha also, if you ever want me to do this, you put a team together and I'll, I'll team coach you guys as long wow, as I can. That would and be awesome. Yes. I just, you, I have to be able to mention my, my networking course. Of course. Okay. The, the, I can't put the spaces in there because we have these, these icons. That, oh, never mind. Yeah. I got it. Perfect. So if we're talking to hardworking moms and dads, then we don't need to talk about grandparents. Okay. So. Okay. You pick any one of these that we're going to build an elevator pitch on one of them. And then you need to create six more. Got it. Hit me. Which one you want to do? Um, let's do menopausal women who have been told they only, they're, they're, they, the only help is a drug. A perfect kind for me is a. You're, you're a perfectionist here. <laughs> well, that's how we make millions. That's you, right. You're, you're not moving away from a, a, a magazine you've run for a gazillion years, a senior editor and or owner of a magazine to do this and not make money. That's right. A perfect for, for, refer for me is, is a mental, is a menopausal woman. And then we're going to go, uh, a perfect refer is a menopausal woman who you, before we even do this, I want you to understand what we're, what we're about to do is word for word quotes. Do you recall the acorn? Yes. The acorn is vibrating at a certain function. The, the, the acorn has a vibration in it. 
and that vibration is attracting what it needs to grow. Whatever's in the sun, in the soil, and from the water, the vitamins that help it grow into an oak tree flies into the seed. If it makes a rose bush, it doesn't go in that seed. An antenna on a radio, if we want country music, we tune it to 580 AM or whatever, and that means it's vibrating at a frequency, which then pulls the radio station out of the air. It goes in here and it comes out the speakers. So Trisha, understand this. In my hand right now is country music. You understand? Mm -hmm. This antenna, when you when you when you tune it to the radio station that's that's country music, it pulls that out of the air and it goes in here and it comes out your speakers. So that means in my hand is country music or rock and I'm holding Led Zeppelin in my hand. But to bring it into reality, it has to go in into an antenna to come out speakers. So I want you to understand, you and everybody with Life Vantage, Pro Tandem, any company out there, all the referrals you could ever handle. Have to cope. Yes. Can, can you see the radio station? Can you see yes. it? No. No, you can't. No, no. I'm, no. no. I you see can't the, see the frequency. Can... This turns no. into reality. Yeah. Can you see the referrals? No. But they're out there. But you need to learn how to program the reticular activating system in the brain stems of people, which is the radio antenna, pulling down radio stations to reality, programming somebody's reticular activating system in the brain stem, pulls down the referrals that you can't see, just like you can't see the radio station. All the referrals and all the money you could ever ask for is right here in my hand. But you got to get it out. I'm now going to show you how to get it out. Boom. Here we go. The only way to tap into the radio station in the brainstem is word for word quotes. There's no other way. So I'm going to ask you a question and then you answer it and I'll type as fast as I can. Okay. You'll see how fast I'm typing. So don't go too fast. Trisha, I'm in a coffee shop. There's two ladies sitting next to me. I hear one talking to the other person as a, they're both menopausal. Give me one thing that I'm going to hear one say to the other word for word. Go. I hate these hot flashes that I've been getting. I can't sleep at, very well at night. You, it, it, let me spark well, your brain here. You mentioned somebody talked about taking medicines or pills or something. The doctor yeah. keeps telling me to take pills. The doctor has referred um, me to try. Uh, oh, um, oh, what are they? Called? How about how it? about I don't I, I don't want to take. That's it. That's what I want. I don't want to have to take a subscript um, pr a prescription. I don't want to be hooked on a prescription that might have side effects. How's that? You can fix it later. Yeah. Can we, can we get two more just for just for menopause? Um, you mean two more things that if they we don't can, word for yeah. word. The night What's sweats. That? The night sweats. Do the they happen sweats. all day or just at night? Just at night. Well, we got hot flashes right here. Is that the same yeah. thing? Yeah. So that's the pretty much the same thing. I can't sleep very well at night. I, oh, and uh, my my sex drive is I'm lacking in my sex drive. I was just gonna ask you, um, does it affect sex drive? I that, I was just gonna ask yeah. you that when we when we went to when we did uh, the hot flashes. Trisha, read that out loud. There are so many ways to get great health results. I show people how to get re desired results without making drastic changes, without spending lots of time and without wasting lots of money. I help people feel better and do more. A perfect referral for me is a menopausal woman who you hear say, I hate hot flashes. I can't sleep very well at night. I think it's menopause. I don't want to take pills for menopause. There has to be a better way. My sex drive is way down. How does that make you feel saying that? Do you feel like a salesperson or, or somebody who's educating people? Someone who's educating. Yeah, I don't feel like a salesperson at all. That's it. And here's your long one. And then we fix yes. that one up. We fix the wording on it. And we put this at the end. So now you have two. Look at the smile on Trisha's face. We have, <laughs> we have two almost perfect elevator pitches. It's just missing that one part about if you, if you make the money, how, if you save the money, how, if you reduce our stress, how yeah. you're going to create those three sentences. And we can talk another time. You're two minutes late for your appointment. Everybody, no problem. Thanks for Worth watching. It. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. You're very welcome. much. I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. It's Rick Silva. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Awesome. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Anyone that was watching, how would they sign up for your course? I mean, is there any like... Uh...
yeah, course options or stuff like that. Thank you for asking. So this is one referral away.com. Thank you very much for asking AJ. If people do want to hire me to coach them, this is how we do it. Got it. So you go to one referral away.com and you see this bouncing here, mm -hmm. click on that button. And this explains the course. Got it. This is the curriculum. It's all webinar based. It's a recording of webinars. It's six or seven hours long total. There's my bio and some testimonials. There's my wife and there's all kinds of cool. There's a mortgage lender, financial planner, attorney. I could put 200 of them on here, but there's no need. The, the options to buy this button right here, it's 795 bucks to purchase the course or three payments of 279. And it comes with all of these recorded webinars. And right here, you can see right there, it comes at two hours of one-on-one -on -one with me. Awesome. Now, if somebody needs more than that, we're going to back up and we're going <clears> to <throat> click on this button over here. And then one hour of one-on-one -on -one coaching is 250, two hours, 395. Most people, AJ, do the six hours for 995. Now, with that, I don't like to do longer than an hour straight because it's overwhelming for both of us. I'll do, I mean, six hours, that's 24, 15-minute sessions or 12, 30-minute sessions or six one-hour sessions or a whole crap ton of 10-minute sessions. I'll break it up any way somebody wants. And I am generally don't uh, stare up my, my watch, so that six hours probably turns into seven or eight, honestly, when it's done. Yeah. So that's that's the way, but start here with one referral away.com and you click that button and that's the course and that's how you join.